In an earlier book, Steve Harvey told women what it takes to succeed in love. Now he tells everyone how to succeed in life. Arise News book editor at Marva Allen is here to tell us all about it. Hey, Marva, always how good to you? see you. Always great to see you. He's at it again. He isn't is he? at it again. In my, you know, he's very successful at this. You cannot argue with that. Yeah. So know? he says he. This book is called Act Like a Success. Think like a success. Steve Harvey, act like a success, think like a success. And we can't argue with the fact that the man is hugely successful from a single-minded determination to do so. And so he wants to share that. He feels that this is his um, giving it forward or paying it forward book where he wants to give you some lessons and things that you should do to at least get as close to your success as possible. So the book is sort of uh, broken up into three sections, sort of take inventory of who you are and be brutally honest, you know, don't be delusional, you know, just <laughs> say it as it is. And then uh, assessing all of the things that you're good at because he says everybody's born with something good. And mm. if you're not doing it, you're not excelling, you know. And so he wants you to find what that one thing is and then he wants you to practice doing it, you know. Mm. And he said he's tried everything, being a sales, insurance salesman, but he knew that God gave him the gift of comedy. And so once he got really into just focusing on his comedy, success comes. You and know, he's one of these celebrities where he, he certainly is qualified to write a book like this. He because absolutely he got is. success the old fashioned way. Fashion way from being homeless to being successful and the single minded determination of never giving up on your dream. And I think that's very, very admirable. Is this more of like a, a self help book for personal life or for succeeding in, in professional life? You know, it's a self it's not it's not just personal. It's it's a combination of both actually because you have to assess who you are which is a very personal thing, but he also gives you some very good tips on a professional level on how you can become a success. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's very, very much worth the read, and um, I think he got it right this time, you okay. know. You think it will do as well as the first one, act you like know, a I lady, think, think like I a man? I think it's going to do well. I think it's going to do well. I don't know if it's going to do as well as that because, you know, women like to read yeah, we, we, like love those relationships. we love Let's, those not, relationships. Not to generalize or stereotype, but exactly. I think you might be right about that. I, exactly. All right, act like a success, think like a success. Yeah. Let's move on to this next one. It's a novel, right? Um, no, Bombshell. actually, it's not a novel. It's actually a, an academic book. Um, oh, sort my of apologies. Thing. Okay. No worries. You know, Mia Bloom, who is the author of this, is a, is a professor at, um, I think, the University of Pennsylvania. And this book is written to look at something that is, I mean, it's fascinating. I was truly fascinated by it. It's looking at the rise of women in terrorism and how from 1985 to 2008, 280 terrorist acts were committed by women, almost one quarter of the terrorist acts. And wow. if you remember in 2010 in Moscow, the two young, young women who mm -hmm. blew up the red line, um, so to speak, and why these women are joining and why they're being recruited. And that they're not all radicals because they were married to jihadists, you know, but the kinds of things that you will find that these women will gravitate towards becoming terrorists, you know. And and one of the things I found really cool was the fact that she she did a historical thing on terrorism and she, she said, well, you know, Samson brought down the walls on the Philistines, <laughs> so, you know, and, and, and terrorism has been going around for a lifetime, you know, all these religious wars from the beginning of time absolutely been some form of terror and our viewers might remember we did a lot of reporting on this leading up to the Olympics that were being held in in Russia absolutely the white widow the white, who, who was married to an extremist it, it, and exactly exactly and so you know so, so what she's saying is that you know the rise of this because women are so trustworthy to begin with and no one would think they're doing it so you now starting to have to look at women with a whole different lens mm -hmm. you know and so on so it's just it it was extremely interesting. That does sound fascinating. Yeah, very fascinating. All right, let's get to the last book while we still have some time. The Virgin Way. The Virgin Way. Well, maybe this is one of my most favorite guys in the world. I absolutely love him. I think he's brilliant. He's a genius. And he says, don't bring me anything that won't light my fire. And that's exactly how I feel about life. And of course, you're talking about <laughs> Sir Richard Branson. I'm talking about Sir Richard Branson, The Virgin Way. And this book, you know, he's a swashbuckler of a leader. leader. And this book is kind of like that, you know, he's not, he says he has never read a leadership book in his life, but he knows from his own personal perspective, this is what this is about leadership. He is, um, 
of course, who doesn't know him, right? Virgin, mm -hmm. Virgin Records, Virgin Airlines that took on British Airways. Now he's into space travel. But this kid dropped out of school at 16 years old to start a magazine. Uh, he's frenetic. He, people have called him a lunatic, and he's taking that lunacy all the way to billion-dollar companies. Mm -hmm. And he's also dyslexic. And the one thing that I loved about this, he says, don't do anything if you, have passion, if you don't have passion for it. That was one of my favorite quotes. And the other one was, stop listening to yourself talk, shut up and listen. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, it's always great to see you, Marva. Thank you so much. Thank you. It gives our homework every yeah. time you come. Yeah. That's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Debbie Turner-Bell. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of Arise America. Bye-bye.